YouTube, uh, what's going on? Signer here with Journey into Next Fat Pack. I typically like to get one of these per set, so let's see if we pull anything awesome. Like, for example, there's a lot of uncommons from the pre release that I didn't even get to see. For example, Brain Maggot, Dacromystic, Banishing Light are the main ones. I Nyx, Fleece, Ram, just didn't see any of them. So. First you get a fold-out poster thing featuring um, Xenagos and Elspeth duking it out. Um, so that's that. You get a full picture encyclopedia of all the cards from this set and a little background information which is always nice. You get two deck boxes, Johnny, and I think this is the art from uh, Cure's Dismissal, I think. Get a spin down. A bunch of packs. Uh, 70 basic line I think which I'm not gonna open because I have a bunch of these just sealed in case I ever need them for like a cube or something and let's get started into our nine packs of journey Star Scryfish is always fun. And. Ooh, our first pair is Ages of the Gods, which I actually need for my modern sideboard, so. That's always a nice pull. Um, from now on, I will announce the uncommons just to make sure I know where I am in the pack. Alright, so first we have a Fleet Feather Cockatrice, Spite of Mogus, a Krillin Linebreaker, and Dictative Care Metra. Not bad in Commander at all. Going on to pack number three. So my favorite uh, rare from the set is probably Twin Flame, so I'm looking for like a lot of those, otherwise Master of the Feast is a really sweet card. So. Um, Cerberus, Colossal Heroics, a Crowan Linebreaker, and ooh, another, another Dictate. This one is Heliod. Another solid card. Next pack. Freak is chosen, countermand, more stuff. Squelching leeches, consigned to dust. Ooh, banishing light. That's an one I wanted to pull. And a Ferris Band War Chief. And we have a foil rare dictate of the twin gods. The spider token, so. That's a sweet pack. Probably going to be the highlight of the fat pack, unfortunately, though. I could be wrong, though. <clears throat> Ooh, Dacromystic. Awesome uncommon. Desperate Stand. Blinding Flare. Ooh, Temple of Epiphany. Always looking for those Scryland temples, so... Oh, another Scryfish. 
Consigned to Dust, Chariot of Victory, a Gnarled Scarhide, and a Battlefield Thaumaturge. He definitely screams build around me, so. Moving on to the next pack. Hour of Need, Thought, Thought Trender Lamia, Swarm Born Giant, and a Deicide, and a Foil Strength from the Fallen. Deicide you easily see play somewhere. Squelching Leeches, Strength from the Fallen, Reviving Melody, ooh, another Aegis of the Gods. I will take him in multiples any day. So now we have our last pack. Another Starfish. Okay, so first uncommon is a Quarry Colossus, Disciple of Deceit, Cyclops of Eternal Fury, and yeah, Skybind. But that's that's a really cool snake, actually. I'm actually more excited for the snake over the Skybind any day. So let's see what we pulled. Skybind, sort of garbage. Um, Death Touch Snake Token, Ages of the Gods, the Aside, Foil Strength. Battlefield Thaumaturge, Temple, Death from Mystic, Banishing Light, Ferris Band Warchief, Foil Dictate, a Spider Token, Dictated Peliod, Dictated Karametra, and Aegis of the Gods. So, not a terrible fat pack considering like these most of these cards are, are playable in multiple formats. So, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this opening, and until next time, have a great day, YouTube.